So this event presents a former world champion, Dory Funk Jr., also the holder of the portion of the world's tag team title against Billy Robinson, who is recognized as the champion of the Central Wrestling Association and is a solid Briton, a man who knows his wrestling, a man who stays in great condition, and Eric Wandheim here lays down the rules to both of them. Now, Dory Funk Jr. is a man who can test anybody in the world. Dory, during the time that he was champion of the world, had some intensely co contested battles here in the ring in the Coliseum in Houston, and his uh, efforts here will be watched. Dory's in great shape. He has trimmed down. He has lately shed about 20 pounds, decided that uh, he was going to go into the ring at a different weight, and uh, made it just right. Billy Robinson, my first look at him, your first look at him, perhaps, but he has wrestled uh, all over the world. He, Britons have the habit of doing that all over Europe and then he went to South Africa and then from there to Australia he went to wrestle throughout the Far East then came up into Canada and then down into the United States and he has wrestled in the Midwest he has wrestled up and down the East Coast and his visit to Texas now uh, brings on a great um, array of states in which he has shown his wares. But his recent win uh, of the Central Wrestling Association's uh, title has focused the spotlight on him. This, of course, is a non-title event. But here are two men who know what the word champion means and who will contest each other in every facet of the game. Dory Funk is not the kind of a man who gets exceptionally rough he is the kind of a man who puts his heart and everything he's got into what he does. But when he lets, throw, lets a blow go, something's bound to give. The fingers are locked. There is Billy Robinson making one of those moves for which he is just as famous. And he winds up with a fallaway leg breaker after going after several holes that would have pleased the average wrestler but he is not the average wrestler and he has a an explosive temper impatient dory funk jr just pushed him away in that corner he wants room to move and the billy wasn't having it the british bulldog in him just won't stand for that kind of of treatment Side headlock, Dory Jr. putting the twist on him. And it was Robinson who used the leverage to get out of that side headlock. There again, they start locking hands. They start maneuvering. Terry trying to turn the leverage to his advantage. But watch out for Robinson because he'll come up with a bag of tricks that uh, make him absolutely difficult to handle. I, uh, the rope's interfering. That call for an uh, instant count from Eric, and he, and he gave it. But I will tell you that before this match is over, these people here in Houston will have seen a lot of holes they have not seen in a long time or which they have perhaps never seen. Funk tried to catch Robinson off guard that time and uh, didn't succeed. Dory's got to watch out. Now, while no championships are on stake, at stake in this match, this is a test for both men. Neither man wants to 
lose the respect of fans. And Billy Robinson caught one, and he tried to change his balance as he was hit, and he went over the top rope trying to change his balance. It was not that he was knocked over the top rope. He was knocked into the ropes, and it was his movement that threw him onto that concrete floor, and he may regret it. This could be the changing point of this particular battle as Billy Robinson now starts to work up a head of steam on that floor and comes back up into the ring to, to face Dory Funk. Dory has always been a man who knew when to retreat. As world's champion, he liked to dish out punishment and Five he to relax and move away from it. Five minutes have gone by. So, here is Dory, a Panhandle Texan, born in the Panhandle, raised in the Panhandle. His father, one of the managers at one time for Boys Ranch, for Cal Farley, who started Boys Ranch. And Cal Farley, of course, was a wrestler and then a wrestling promoter and then went into a full-time job of helping young Dory Funk Sr joined him in that uh, effort. Dory Jr., at whom you're looking right now, gets walloped by Billy Robinson, spent a lot of his early years on the grounds of Boys Ranch up near Amarillo with his father. So Dory holds up, watches Billy Robinson with that baleful glare of his. He looks out from under his eyes and you see that face of his doesn't show or display any great emotion, but inside he seethes. He's as intense an individual as you would want to meet. And he, and he knows what he's up there for and he, it, it just galls him when he can't do exactly what he wants, but he somehow keeps that temper of his in check most of the time. Waist lock for Billy Robinson. Grotto lift, backbreaker, and now Dory's in trouble. Could be hurt badly, but the fact that he's getting out here tells me that he took that uh, probably around the hips instead of around the area just above the hips where a man can be extremely vulnerable. Surfboard hold, Robinson working the pressure. And he, he, Eric Wanheim shouts submit to Dory Funk. Question should be, do you submit? But I guess the word submit is about all that um, Funk has to hear and then his hackles start to go up and he doesn't even deign to reply. Still double arm lock and he's got those arms wrapped up behind the back and puts the pressure on both of them at the same time. Dory doing the turning. There he is maneuvering around trying to reverse this hole that um, Billy Robinson has, has applied so well. Robinson forced down close to, it, to the canvas. Yes. Notice the seesaw movement he used until the bounce uh, replaced the strength and got him up in, uh, into a standing position and enabled him to turn the, turn the tables. Still surfboard to hold. Still uh, working on the middle of the back. If not, uh, not with the foot, then with the knee or with his head or with his body whatever he can use in order to pull those arms back and to apply the, the hold and apply it well. The Robinson's hold. And Dory is trying to switch it, but Robinson went right along with it at the point where the hold might have changed to Funk's uh, advantage. 
Robinson then went ahead of it, and here comes Dory trying to tie him up. Well, there was an exchange of leg wrestling there in which each man was trying to gain his advantage by using the, the legs, and it just didn't work out for either one of them. So, Funk now. Catches an arm lock. He's got an arm bar. He's got that arm straight out there. Now there is a legal hold. It is a blow, but it is a blow that is sanctioned because it was delivered with that part of the arm between the wrist and the elbow. And Dory Funk has been criticized more times for, for that particular move, even though it's legal. Other fellows use the fist and don't get caught as... Ten minutes. There's much criticism. Ten minutes have gone by. Ten minutes remain in this match. Robinson just told um, Eric, he said, get out. Well, he didn't get out, but he stayed right in there. It's a side headlock now for Billy Robinson. He tried to shake him loose, tried to throw him off. Robinson held on to the head. <laughs> Make Dory Funk a lot taller. There's the tilt back, and he gets those shoulders close to the canvas, but the object there is to try to make a man let go of the, of the hold if he feels like he's going to get caught in a, a three count by hanging on to it. Well, many times it's better to sacrifice the hold than it is to take the chance. The twist. The... He's destroying his balance here, lifting up that leg, and as he bounces him, he gets that leg breaker in there, but Robinson took it and hung on to the side headlock. It takes a lot of guts to do that. It also takes strong knees, because that particular maneuver can become tough to use. Funk caught in side headlock, Robinson putting the the pressure on there. And there again comes that uh, forearm. And again, the forearm. But the, and he, he punishes him with it. And he can get in there. I'll tell you, Dory learned this from his old man, from Dory Funk Sr., who was a past master at throwing that particular blow. And now Robinson is in trouble. Crotch hold, the lift, and the slam. It's Dory Funk on top. There's two, and just barely got his shoulders up. Front headlock. He puts the twist on it. Gets that forearm down around the jaw. Puts the turn of the body in there. And tries to use the turnbuckle to punish the Englishman. Clobbering blow that time. There again, notice, notice the manner in which he uses it. Because at the time that I was in wrestling, this was the blow that was used to, uh, in preference to the fist. There's a lot of advantages to it. You don't break bones in your hand hitting somebody with your with your forearm. And you can sure pop it in there and get a lot of mileage out of those solid, solid smashes. So as Dory Funk gets the leverage in there, he is working with his right hand where the referee can't see it, and some of the fans are screaming that the Funk is choking him. The Funk is leaning in there, getting the pressure from on top to lean into the, the Britisher and force his shoulders down. Underneath, Robinson moving those legs from side to side, trying to kick out of the out, out of the problem area. But it's Funk who gets up first, has the advantage in the hold, and hopes to keep Robinson down close to the deck. Dory going. 
going for a lift. Uh, no, he didn't get it. Notice the quick shift as Robinson got the big spread on his legs to try to block Dory Funk's efforts to lift him up and give him back body drop. Dory doing the same thing in there as each of them sense the purpose of the other in, 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 in the moves that he's making. Funk with the side headlock, front headlock rather. And now he goes for a, a double arm lock and he's gonna, he tried to lift him up, tried to heist him and to drop him down. But you saw Robinson drop to his knees as his answer, making himself just about twice as heavy. Do Robinson is caught solidly. Well applied move. He's gonna to try to lift Funk up, but he is not, he, he didn't succeed. Now, again, as they get to the corner, minutes. the 15 minute mark is called, and Dory Funk keeps wrapping in there with that, that forearm blow, catching. Oh, there was a judo chop that came back and hit him underneath the, the chin, but the British in house keeps moving away, looking for the opportunity to clear his head, and Dory doesn't want to give it to him. He's going after that head. Oh, again. He smashes in there. And his brother Terry is, is also taught that forearm blow, but is an exponent of the fist. He came with a sledgehammer chop that time, both hands. But he, while he knocked Funk down, he wasn't able to capitalize on it. Neck breaker. And... Well applied. There, there was a hold used exactly as it should have been used, and yet the veteran comes out and lives the fight another day. But that neck breaker that Robinson put on there was a beauty, and that will do neither man any good. They were both charging, and the charge account now is about to be paid. The referee can stop that count when he thinks that both men or either man is in a defensive position. And Robinson went with the hole that time and pirouetted out of it. Robinson has been catching it here in the uh, last five minutes of, of this battle. He's going now for an abdominal stretch. He goes across. What he'd like to do is to get that arm of Dory Funk, there it is, over his head, and now he's got the abdominal stretch well Three applied. Three minutes to go. There are three minutes to go as um, Funk is given the question. Funk, the referee, asking him if he wants to quit, but then he looks at Funk and then he grabs that arm to see whether the application of this hold has caused Dory to pass out. No, he wouldn't fall because of the manner in which he was held. His one leg was circled with um, Robinson's leg and then the rest of his body was held by Robinson's body. He could have been in that hold and standing in that position if he was out cold. But he's going, going for a Boston Crab. That's Robinson now. The going, trying to get his weight on the small of Dory Funk's back. There's Funk nose down in the canvas and uh, he will two be, minutes to be go. trying to straighten out that back. Two minutes remain as Funk uh, well, Funk's in trouble now. He's, as his body turned now Robinson has the weight down on the small of the back. We could have a submission. No, he's going to exert the strength. Now there was a, he did it quickly too and that, that that's what helped. They'll break because they're in the ropes. They are a good break for Dory Funk, but he made the break himself. He, he brought it about that time. Backbreaker again, and this time Robinson dropped him on his knee, but he didn't have the knee straight up and down. And when Dory Funk's weight hit, it uh, knocked Robinson's leg to the side and the this is a break at this stage of the game for for Dory Funk he's going one after minute that to go there is a minute to go as he tries to turn Robinson over 
to see if he can get the Boston Crab. Robinson is working his points, trying to notice the twist. Notice the twist. He's trying to turn Funk in the air if he can. He did. Didn't get him exactly where he wanted him, but he got out of the hold, and that's what counts. He's going for the cross lift on that double arm lock, and he hit like a ton of brick, if you will. 30 seconds. Solidly and hit hard. 30 seconds. Time is running out. Dory Funk manages to block that effort. He's going for the Funk spinning toe hold. This is the hold with which both members of the Funk family have won the majority of their matches. And um, time is running out, but both men are trying to clobber him right across the jaw. On top is Robinson. Five, two, four, three, two, one. The bell is about one. to ring, and Dory Funk is the kind of a guy who gets started wrestling about 20 minutes. It takes him that long for all of his competitive spirit to rise. And here in a 20-minute match, the referee has not yet given the decision. He has not indicated. I guess that in this particular case, he has called it a draw, and they are deciding whether to shake hands, and they do. So there it is, Dory Funk, Jr., former World's Heavyweight Champion, Billy Robinson, who holds the CWA Heavyweight Championship, and they wrestle to a 20-minute draw here in Houston, Texas. We'll be back in a moment after this. Ladies and gentlemen, there'll be a short intermission before the main event.